All right, we are back here for round four. It was a casual, yes. It was a casual. We casualed it up so that uh, if I had to, like, concede due to the time. Yeah, you too, Sad. Um, if I had to... If I had to uh, get out of it to get back in the challenge, that it wouldn't feel as bad. I would like to play first. This seems good. We're going to have an uh, Inquisition and a Tarmogoyf, and if we find a way to deal damage, this hand is actually really good. We just got a little bit of everything. If, we, if there's a matchup where these pushes are good, then this hand, I think we're going to definitely win this, this round here. All right, let me switch my stream decker here. So we have 14 people here, and we are into round five of the challenge. I appreciate everybody for hanging out and being here. So, so I hope that uh, I hope that everyone's having a good time. Get a little bit of entertainment value. We'll start off with this land here. See what's see what my opponent's cooking with. All right, we're gonna take a chalice. My opponent kept this hand. All right, this Tarmac is gonna have to do some serious work. Either that or we're gonna have to find some of our abrupt decays pretty quick. Um, I guess we should get Blood Crypt. Oh, uh, we have more blue spells. We're going to get chaliced hard out of this game. Okay, so they have power plant. Their Tron lands are non-matching. So we draw. At this point, our best draws are just Tarm Tarmogoyfs or Abrupt Decays. Because none of our one drops work. This is going to be a tough one to win. Well, there's an Abrupt Decay. So I'm going to look to Abrupt Decay at the end of my opponent's turn. So that maybe they're incentivized to play like a creature or something. Like, they don't just play this second chalice. Like, they might hold this chalice, honestly, for a uh, for chalice on two to stack things up. This is also fine, because this means we're going to abrupt decay this. Green. So we know three out of the four last cards from our opponent. Our opponent... He probably... I'd be mean, willing to bet my opponent takes... It would be risky of them not to take Death Shadow, I think, because if I draw a fetch land, they took Inquisition. Okay, so if I draw a fetch land, my opponent's just, like, super dead. And I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I would like those. Thank you. That was unfortunate, but... Alternatively... I actually think we're going to go like this. Oh, I, yeah, I should, I should have thought of this beforehand to get a creature in the graveyard. We drew another Goyf. Yeah, so I should have thought. I, I messed that up. Matter Shaper, okay. I think I'm just going to attack with this and then play another Goyf. I think I would rather do that than start getting Liliana working. Especially when I can just edict the Liliana and this just comes back. My opponent's got one, two, three, four, five, so they have Cavern in hand. Yeah, man. Protect your eyes. These are the style, Nathan. Yeah. So we knew this was going to happen. When it flips into a Seagate wreckage. So they have one, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So the last card is if the last card is whatever, then we're in a lot of trouble. If it's gosh, I can't think of the name of it. No, I don't want to play Liliana. If their last card is all is dust, then I'm probably dead. But if it's not all is dust, we should be in pretty good shape. It's in Karn. That's all right. So now we kill Karn. And then we probably play Liliana, but we don't tick it up because we want our opponent to... Um, I should have fetched the end of the turn two I was talking. We want our we don't want our opponent's Seagate wreckage to turn on. So we're just gonna play this Liliana and pass. This is just using our mana efficiently. There's the cavern we knew about. Again, we're not going to do anything with this Liliana. And we're going to wait and bobble on our opponent's turn. Because we don't want our opponent to rip a Thought Knots here. What can my opponent have? It's got to be just more lands. Let's go, Scorter. Okay. Always oh, Dust Incoming. That's not good. I guess we could have done a main phase to maybe hit like a stub. But now we're in a lot of trouble because we need to just we need to find like Goif two and three. Or Goif three and four. Another chalice. Well, stop would have, right, Nathan? Just because um, stub would have countered the all is dust. Now we're just digging into Tarmogoy. Oh, stub, you would have chaliced. Yep, chaliced. So yeah, then the, we did the right thing, even though I made the mistake there. Yeah, fatal push. My opponent should have definitely, in his upkeep, wreckaged. Yes, I, I see that now, fam. Tarmogoyf. Okay. I don't understand why my opponent's not like being more aggressive with this. Like I would have, I would have sacked this main phase. A little hot. Probably going to Scoop Town, USA here with our next. If we don't draw a Tarmogoyf here, then we're we're calling it. If he plays Reality Smasher, then we're dead. There's an Endbringer. Endbringer probably kills me as well. Yeah. Okay. So against Eldrazi Tron. Oh god, Moto's tweaking out. What's that? <laughs> My wife calls Moto. Mount Go, which I think is pretty funny. So I think we're going to go here. I don't really have a lot to bring in in this matchup as it's just not super, it's not as common as it used to be. But I like having a couple stubs for Planeswalkers and All is Dust. And I like the grudges for the you know, reason we just saw. 
So I think we're going to go with this. Uh, the Fatal Pushes don't have too many targets. I really don't kill a lot of their creatures. How, how I get through everything is like just making big creatures and attacking and beating them up in combat. All right, I would like to play first. Guys, hand is not very good, even if we could guarantee a land. All right, this hand's good. I will keep this. We have an answer to Chalice, which is what's important. That's going to get us closer to Delirium. So we'll play a land and pass. Yeah, Mount Go height. All right, now I think I'm going to shuffle that bobble away because I just, like, it's this going to blank. I have to abrupticate this chalice. I'm going to have to shut down Moto in between rounds here. Give Mount Go the reset. So now, hopefully, my opponent chalices. And then I draw, like, Street Wraith or a Thought Seize, and I can play this. Big Death Shadow. Two of them. Two huge shadows. God, are we going to get Natural Tron? If we get Natural Tron, I'm going to be sad. Watery Grave. Draw. Okay, that's a good draw. That's exactly what we were looking for. Mount Go doesn't seem family friendly. <laughs> Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Tower. So my opponent's going to be able to get down two things. What is the most? I think this Thought Nuts here is the most annoying. Because this Reality Smasher is whatever. We're going to be able to beat through this. This Thought Not Seer is going to be annoying. It's going to take card. We have an answer to it. And we can just abrupt decay this Batter Skull. So I think I'm going to play Thought Not Seer. Take the Thought Not Seer. And then fetch a Blood Crypt. The Reality Smasher doesn't matter. Like, if he wants to smack my face with the Smasher, then, like, my shadows will just get bigger than that eventually. I'd like to have an answer to Batter Skull with this, uh... Abrupt Decay. And if we draw another fetch land, then we're just bigger than the or Street Wraith or any way do damage ourselves. Then we're just bigger than the Smasher anyways. I swear to God, if my opponent ripped and all is this. Oh, they ripped a Worm Coil Engine. This is how it ends. Swarm Coil is bad. Now we basically need Teamer Battle Rage. We need Ancient Grudge. Ancient Grudge will help us out here. My opponent can play Karn. Jeez, some Crow. I just exile one of my dudes. They might as well attack because if I don't block and I attack that, they should have, they should have just attacked because... Yeah, we're dead. Oh, that's sad. That is so sad. All right, let me... Let me stop recording.